everyone. This is Gail Turner Brown from the Monetize You Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be here. I'm so glad that you guys are here to hang out with us, monetize with us as we um, as we share some things with you. So first, just a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit about me, if you don't know. Again, my name is Gail Turner Brown. I am a talk show host of the GTB show and the new and exciting The Monetize You show that I am co-hosting with my partner in success, Mr. R.L. Chance, who you'll have a chance to meet in just a second. Um, I am a I am a coach. I am a consultant where we get together and we help you understand how to monetize you and your skills. And so without further ado, let me introduce to you and present to others, Mr. R.L. Chance, my partner in success. Take it away, Mr. Chance. Hello, Gail. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monetize You show today. We are so happy and excited to actually have you here. Again, my name is Chance, and I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, a number one best-selling author, lifestyle coach, or strategist. And so we just are here, like Gail saying, to empower, educate, equip you to be able to use your gifts and talents. The reason we want to do this is because we believe that you have been blessed with skills that if you only leverage them, you can be able to fund your dreams, sustain your mission, your message, or your cause. And this is the way that we can all make a lasting impact. So today, we have a wonderful show lined up for you. I'll let Gail introduce our topic for today. Gail, what are we talking about today? All right, all right, all right. So first and foremost, this is what we need you guys to do. Grab your pens, grab your paper, grab your recording devices and get prepared to take notes or whatever it is you need to do because we are about to lay it on you today. If you've ever wanted to figure it out or you've been trying to figure out how in the world do I get some extra money or how do I take my business and really ramp it up? then we are going to have some really, I think, some really key ideas, some strategies, some tools and resources to provide for you and to you today. So with that being said, um, I what we are going to do today, we're going to do the top seven ways of generating and making money online. Now, these are not the only ways, but we have found that these are the top seven ways to make money online. So our one of the first ways is going to be uh, books. Um, you can make money with books. You can make money with courses. All right. Okay, we need to speed that one up a little bit, Mr. Producer. Uh, courses, um, new media. That's going to be a fun topic to talk about because new media is all over the place. You, you know what it is and we'll, we'll be discussing it. You'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, number four is e-commerce. You know about e-commerce because y'all buy from Amazon all the time. Well, now let's have your own Amazon if you don't already. So we're going to be talking about that. Number five is coaching and consulting. That is something that a number of people are doing, but even more very possibly should be doing, can be doing. And we'll, we are going to be discussing how that how you can really ramp it up and monetize there. And affiliate marketing, number six, affiliate marketing. For those people, even if you, you may or you may not, but even for those people who say, I don't, I don't have a product, I don't know what to do, I don't know nothing. Okay, well, guess what? We're going to give you something. And affiliate marketing is one of the ways to do it. And number seven is freelancing. Man, people are kicking it with freelancing. As they say, this is the what is called the shared economy. This is a new economy out here in these streets. And so we're going to show you how, how, not only how to do it, but we're going to be able to introduce to you people who are doing it as well so that you can really see how to match those, those two things. And so with all that being said, as you can tell, there are a lot of ways. These are the top seven. There are a lot of ways that you can generate money online. 
and we are going to kick this off and get this party started. And I'm going to have my partner, Chance, talk about the first couple ones. So Chance, take it away. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So um, before we get further into it, guys, here's what I want you to do. Please, please share this on Facebook. Go ahead on Periscope. We are there as well. Whatever social media outlet, text somebody, tweet somebody, email somebody, because this information is going to change their lives. All right. So again, Gail went through those top seven ways that we can make money online. What we're going to do today is going to try to deal with the first three or so just for the sake of time. And we'll take the, the others in another show. So let me first start off with books and courses. The reason I like this is because to me, this is one of the best ways to create an entire six-figure business because once you get a book out there, you turn that book into a course. It can become consulting, coaching, and so forth. You can do affiliate marketing all wrapped in this one. Actually, you know, Gail, just before I got on this show, I just sent a manuscript out from um, a young lady that I'm coaching uh, to write a book. And I just like, just like literally five minutes or so before the show, we just sent her manuscript off to the editor to be edited because she's writing a book in 100 days. So it's one of my favorite. Here, here are my, I, I publish now uh, seven books. Here are six of them. One is actually uh, about my son's birthday, right? My first, my son's first birthday. But here's my first book, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. That's number one. This was number two, a real little book, short book, right? So it can be different sizes. My third book, voila. Fourth book right here, Transition to Civilian Life with Confidence. And this one is about prayer, prayers that move heaven. And my most recent book that I just published in March is actually monetize your skills. That's why we want to spend more time on this because this is really something that all of us need. I don't care what our economic backgrounds are. All of us can do well with a little more green, right? So this is a book that can help you. And that's why we have this show as well. So. If you publish a book, there are many ways you can do this. Amazon now allows us or anyone with any skill, any information to be able to publish your book online for free pretty much, right? So all you got to do is get an idea, okay? On our website, we're going to give you and go through tools and all of this kind of stuff if you want to know exactly the process, but it pretty much works like this. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're gifted at, whatever skills that you have, you can be able to synthesize that information in your mind and create a book out of it. You take that book, you put it up on um, Amazon, you can put it up on Barnes & Noble, you can put it on Kobo, you can put it up on uh, app, the Apple Store. In so many different places, you can be making a side income, right? And so that's exactly what I did. Now, here's a shortcut for those of you out there, right? Here's a shortcut. If you've written a master's thesis, that's a book right there. Why put it in a university? Strip all the academic language out of it, and you can turn that into a book. Actually, that's really how this book came, came along, right? For my master's project in project management, I actually interviewed and studied over 110 people who are monetizing their skills in creative ways. And I was able to turn that book into, I mean, that research into this book, which we are developing and growing all along. Now, here's another interesting thing. If you are a doctor or you've done a PhD or any doctor, doctoral degree and you have a dissertation, <laughs> that's another way that you can actually convert your dissertation into an actual book that you can put on the market and you can sell, right? And so those are just some of the basic fundamental ideas there. But I'm, get, I'm saying you don't no longer have to wait years to publish a book. You don't have to wait months to publish a book. You can self-publish a book. I know teenagers now that are actually publishing books, putting them online, right? And again, you can grab this book, monetize your skills, it'll teach you how to do all of that. Now, closely related to books, Gail, are courses. So check this out. Like, for example, monetize your skills is a book. I took the same information, same layout pretty much, and I turned this into a course. And we call that course Monetize Your Skills Academy. So the same thing um, with this, Prayers That Move Heaven, this is also an online course. So that's why for um, the two years before, I took one year break from writing books so I can start converting them to courses. So here you are. If you've done the work already, you can now go ahead 
and take your book and turn it into an online course. You can put them up just like uh, Amazon for books. You have Udemy, you have Kajabi, you have so many different platforms out there, Teachable, your own website, Zenla. All of these are different places where you can put up a course and actually it does not take that long to create a course, okay? So it's just strategies and tools. And you can comment, we can ask questions, we can do a breakdown in the future, exactly how to write your book, exactly how to uh, produce a course. But I've had, uh, for me personally, my first book took me like five years to write because I, you know, I took a long time, right? But the next book was about three weeks, then two weeks, then it, it took me one hour to write this book, Transition to Civilian Life with Confidence, right? Um, I had a client who, who did a book in two weeks as well. One more did a book in... Uh, in what was that six days and we just published that book in january this client that i'm working with i started working with her with april and we set a goal that by july 19th which is 100 days by july 19th her book will be completed so right now like i said we sent her book off to the um, editor this morning once that is back we're gonna throw it up on amazon so she will beat her deadline by about almost two weeks so you guys can do it Make some money using books and courses. Gail, what else can they do? <laughs> all right. You know, and that is good. First of all, I'm like so super jealous. You said she it took a week. You somebody did did a book in a week? Yes, yeah, six days. Mm -hmm. Six days. Okay. So no excuses, people. No excuses. So actually, I really would like to um talk a little, a little, little, little bit more about that meaning okay i really liked how you broke it down saying the first one took you five years and then and then it got shorter and shorter and shorter and was it the main thing that that took place was it because of the process because you already knew how to do it or you were just able to um figure out how to shorten that that time span that it didn't have to be you know it didn't you weren't writing harry potter you were you're, you're putting out you know information is that right yes yes both of those and that that's a good point cuz that's why i also encourage people write about cuz this shows about what monetize you write about what you are good at so in other words, things that you're already an expert in that will come easy to you. For example, uh, let's say you're a dating expert, right? You, you can write seven creative, you know, seven things every man or every woman needs to know about dating. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> that was part of it. It was owning me and knowing what I'm good at and start writing about that. So I don't have to do a whole lot of research and everything because I know the information and I embody the information. So that does cut down on the speed. But yes, like you said, strategy was another one. For example, you can just like we are doing, we can speak the book and then you have it transcribed. That's how I did the one in an hour. I spoke it, then I had it transcribed and then send it to the editor. Okay, so th this is so key, and I'm so glad that you brought that up uh, because I have been <laughs> in, literally in process um, for quite a while. I'm, I've, I'm finally getting my book um, published and getting it done, but I'm really glad you brought that up because a lot of times we stay in our heads and it's just yeah. about what it's going to take and, oh, I've got to be perfect and, oh, you know, what am I going to talk about? You know, you go through all of that stuff instead of, instead of just getting it done. And so I am, I'm, that is, that's really exciting. And I know I do see, you know, a number of people getting their books out. And that is also one of the, as you, I think you mentioned, one of the best ways to show your expertise and to add yes. credibility to what you, you're doing. Definitely. Um, Definitely. Here, here's, here's one more thing, just to let people know. Let's pretend that you don't know how to do anything. Okay. Everybody knows I do something, but let's pretend that you don't really have a, um, an expertise. Well, another way to get a, your book done is you go find a topic that you are interested in and you go out and find the experts and interview them and turn awesome. that interview into your book. So you don't, it, it doesn't have to be about you. It can just be something you have an interest in. It could be something you don't have an interest in, but you know other people do, like golf, okay? I could care less about golf, but I know a lot of other people do want to know about that. So 
I'd find people who really know it and can help people with it. I'd in, interview them or interview a series of people like that. And you could put that together in a book. And all you need to now do is market it and get it out to those people who want it. So that's that's another um, thing to think about just in case you have some people who don't think that they can or have enough expertise in a particular area. All right, let me throw this out there to give what wonderful point. If you're a professional, this is how I'm going to put it flat out, especially if you're a professional today, a small business owner, entrepreneur, whatever have you, today you seriously need a book. Like serious. Like think about one of the thought leaders today who does not have a book. Right. I mean, you could talk from the greatest. Everybody has a book. Like you said, the book is the fastest credibility builder. When I go to networking events, I hardly use business cards. What I really use, you know, pretty much I I ditch them, really. But what I use, I take my books to these networking events, because when you show the business card, sometimes it's easy to throw those away. But most people will keep a book or they will pass it on. That's actually right. how I met uh, this young lady I'm working with, Erica, right? You know, some, you know, <laughs> she met me at this event. She got my book. She passed it on, connected me with several clients. And it's like, wow. So that's the ca- power. But here's the thing. When people also introduce me, instead of just simply only saying chance and these other accolades, when they say, hey, here is, he is the author of so-and-so. And furthermore, he's a best-selling author. Like, you already sold. You already have the credibility. So I think today, Gail, every single professional out there needs to have a book. That is that is absolutely super awesome. And one one other again tiny piece. I, I am as most people can probably tell. I am huge on collaboration. Okay, I love finding people that I can connect with that can. That we, because as they say, you know, you can get a lot further with two, right? You can do a whole lot more when you have two or more, right? And so that's, that is another way that you can get your book out is to partner with someone or collaborate with someone who may have it, who may know a little bit more or another aspect or of what you know. So you can take one topic. And find someone who may know a whole lot about one area, you know some about the other area, and you collaborate. That's one of the things that I'm doing to get um, to get my book out is I am connecting and collaborating. So networking is a powerful thing, people, because you it can is. really get a lot done um, when you connect with those people um, who, um, who you can then you know, put information out, out together. And so that's another way to make sure you get it done too. And it's a good way to make sure you stay on point. Cause a lot of times we will put, I could teach you how to procrastinate. Okay. <laughs> that's a course I could teach. Okay. I can do that so good. <laughs> so it's really great when you have a collaborator because you can keep things going and keep things moving forward. Um, and, and it kind of keeps the procrastination itis away. So, so that's a good, another way to, to think about it too, to really help to gear things up. And that's why I give, that's why I also give challenges to Gail for people to set goals. Um, My workshop really is how to write and publish a book in seven weeks or less. So I give people that much window, but for the monetize your skills um, Academy, I set uh, 100 days goal. So you got to write a book in 100 days. So we give them at least that much. Knowing that we've had people doing it in six days, two weeks, you know what I'm saying? An hour, you know, so, but we give them that window because there's something about setting that goal, like you say, in a timeline. But if you're out there today, I just want to challenge you, man. If you're out there, you already have the knowledge in your head. Gail already gave you some stuff. Collaborate with somebody do a co-author. That's actually what I did with uh, Transition to Civilian Life. This is a, I co-authored this. And just like you also said, interview other people. Well, this book is both my stuff, but also I've interviewed. There's some interviews actually in here as well. Monetize your skills, right? So uh, exactly what Gail said. That's exactly what I've done. That's then, good. like I said, you can um, just grab your mic from your phone, your whatever, and go and speak your book. Put the chapters on the wall, speak it out, send that to a transcriber. I'll give you one, rev.com. 
you can do transcribe that for cheap send that straight to the editor i don't even touch it again just send it straight to the editor and nowadays you can get a graphic design for cheap on fiverr and different places 99 designs all of these right so by the way in our show notes you're going to be able to uh, once we post it on facebook we're going to be able to list all of these uh resources where you can go and start working on your book exactly that is like so cool and let me tell you something i found out i guess i gotta i gotta got tell this gotta tell this so as i was i'm doing my book Oh, my, my, because as I mentioned, I, I'm, I am collaborating. Um, and uh, <laughs> I found that when I type, I'm so busy thinking about the um, typo, you know, oh, I made a mistake on a typo, right? So then I thought about what you just said. And in fact, um, and I said, I, I, I love the people that I know, because uh, I, there's another friend of mine that, that said, Gail, speak it, just speak your book, okay? So I'm like, okay, I could do that too. Then I realized, wait a minute, I've got Google in Google Docs, and and I and I know it also. You can do the same thing on your phone. Yeah. There's a microphone, so when not only when you speak it, it's typing it out. Come so, on. So <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. So I'm speaking my book, but it's being typed as I'm speaking, and you can use it. Like I said, if you use Google Docs. There is a tool there which is, has a microphone. You just speak into it and you can do this. You can use your phone and do the same thing. So now all I have to do, I don't even have to use Rev. All I have to do is now send it to an editor or somebody that's going to make it look cute. Voila. So I've, I've taken that out. So we've taken away as many excuses as you might possibly have. Because trust me, I have had, had I had all of those excuses right there. And I had to figure out how do I eliminate why I can't get it done. So we've given you concepts and ideas of what of kinds of books that you can write, how to collaborate, how to interview other people, and how to do it. And you don't even have to spend any money in terms of if you've got a phone, if you've got Google Docs, speak it. It'll write it out and then you can and then you can take it and self-publish it from there. there you go. So I'm hoping that that is helpful. And and as Chance mentioned um, before, you can also then when you have that book and you've got that book published, you don't have to buy business cards. <laughs> you now have you your go. book and you ain't got to buy business cards. But you can then also turn that book into a course which which then takes it even further so yeah. th that is that is super great this is i'm telling you because of technology we really can't we we can't we can't we can't come up with excuses anymore we really there can't. you go and <laughs> as far as the money is concerned people want to know the monetization there are many ways first of all you're going to make money from the book itself but we use the book to lead you into other things your book is like a lead generator but here's an interesting concept the book is also an advertising piece in itself for one client we did a book in january we use the backspace of the book to actually advertise uh the practice the business and so forth but here's another thing Within the back of your book, you can use that to, for ad space. Other people can actually pay you money to place a mini ad of their product or program in the back of your book. Ooh, okay? Snap. okay. Some people, some people can even, even the co-author, that if you are well known and you've got several books published, which I'm preparing to do probably around for my 10th book, is I'm going to actually charge others a fee to write just one or two chapters in my book. And because I'm already out there and I'm flipping most of the course, they will just pay me a fee to be able to be featured in my book. So that way they become a uh, best-selling author as well on top of me, but I did most of the work, but they just pay a fee for that. So that these is... are all ways. Right? I love it. I so, love it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and you're putting it up you. on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, Kobo, CD Baby, Book Baby, all those different platforms. If you put it up on multiple platforms, buy and buy. You know what I mean? It's just based on, you know, your platform, how big it is and so forth. But by and by, you're going to be getting sales. Like, Gail, sometimes I don't even promote anything on Amazon. And every month I'm still seeing some royalties and so forth coming. But I really don't use the book as uh, making money from that perspective. What I do in my book, are, like you said, an ad piece where I educate potential customers, clients, and then now I lead them into my course 
coaching, consulting. That's where the money is made. But we stri- we talk about more of those on future shows. <laughs> yeah, okay, but this is good. This is ex- I don't know. I don't know about you, but th- that's exciting because I think I I glimpsed it. I thought about it a little, but not a lot. I love that idea of being able to um, advertise. You know, put people in the book to advertise, especially. If you're doing an interview book and you are are interviewing someone that's very prominent or right. that's like what I call an influencer, you're you're interviewing someone like that. Other people would love to be in the in you know have a, a page in that book and pay for that because you know that if you've got someone, if you've got you know I don't know Mark Victor Hansen and, and Jack Canfield or someone that you've Come done on. an interview with then they're going to want to be placed in, in that book. And if they don't, they should. So and we'll talk right. about that too <laughs> later to say why you should make sure that if someone provides you with that opportunity, you should really jump on it because, you know, that's just a lot of credibility right there. All so right. But let's is, give them one more. Let's give them another one. So we okay. spend a lot of time on books. Now, Gail, you break it down. Okay, what's so what's yeah, all so this thing next, about new media? What is okay, this new so, media? Yeah, so, the next, the, and so the, another way is new media. So now then you say, okay, so well, what the heck is new media? Well, if you, one, what we're on right now, you have Facebook Live, you've got Periscope, you've got Snapchat, you've got Instagram, you've got YouTube Live, um, podcasts. All of those are new media. You know, we understand and know about obviously TV and radio. That's that's been with us for a long time. Even print advertising, that's been a, been with us for a really long time. But again, because of technology and what some of the um, ways that people are now consuming, first of all, people are mobile. They're not sitting still looking at TV. They're not, okay? You have your phone all the time. I believe I saw a stat that said people will look at their phone, uh, whether it be on social media or text messaging or whatever, somewhere like 50 to 100 times a day. I can attest to that because I am never without my phone. I, I always, I'm always on my phone. Sometimes I shouldn't be. (laughs) <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying, I know I am one of those people that will constantly like, trust me, you if you send me a text or a Facebook message, I will get and respond to that faster than even if you called me. Because if you call me and I don't recognize the number, I'm not going to answer the phone. I'll let it go to voicemail because I, I don't have time. So but I will make time to read something. So new media, because of new media, there are enormous amount of ways that people are using that to market their business and even to create a business itself. So what am I talking about? What I'm, what I'm mean is this, do you know that you can, if you have a topic, if you have something you're interested in and it doesn't matter whether you are an online business or brick and mortar business. It doesn't matter whether you are a doctor, an attorney, uh, a hairstylist, a coach, or an author. You can utilize platforms such as Facebook Live and Snapchat and Periscope. You can use those platforms to not only get your message out, but you can use it as a lead generator. You can use it to educate. You can use it to entertain. The, be- the best part is that new media allows you to connect with your audience and engage with your audience in a way that you can't do that on TV. As many times as we have watched TV and we yell at it for whatever the reason, whether we're watching a sports game, whether we're watching the political debate, whether we're watching, you know, I don't know, Housewives of Wall Street or whatever, whatever, wherever the Housewives are these days. Regardless of what you're watching, you're screaming at the TV, but it's a one way conversation with new media. You now have an opportunity for it to be a two way conversation. You can get your message out to your audience, but your audience can also get their message back to you. And as a result, you get to determine who's watching, what they want, what they like, what they don't like, 
What problems do they have? What situations do they have that you can solve? And then when you show people how you can solve those issues for them, that is golden. You have hit pay dirt. And so you can use those platforms to, again, as I said, it, number one, it should really be a part of your regular marketing strategy, regardless of what type of business you have. And you can use it and create a business around it all by itself. You literally can do things. And one of the things that I, I did put together was a, um, I have a video, I'll put that information in here. Uh, I think I called it this like five five ways that you can use live streaming to generate revenue. But I'll, di I'll give you a couple of them right here. One thing that, that I was a part of, which I'm really, really proud of, I'm really glad that I was a part of it. There was a group of us that did it. But for people who are involved with fundraising and nonprofits, we used new media. We used these platforms, live streaming to do a, what we called, a, it's like a telethon. So you could gather up a number of people who are willing to participate. If you have a particular cause, now at that time, the cause that we had was a young man. He was, a, he was a, 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 the son of one of the clients of one of the people that were, were putting this together um, who had sickle cell. And as a result, he was having, he had like bone cancer and he was having an operation. We were raising money to help um, with those expenses. And so we gathered together experts in various fields of online mark from online marketing to you know YouTube and we had coaching, so many different things. But what we did was each of them were able to provide their service in, in exchange for your financial participation in donations. It was really great. We did it for 24 hours. We had people from all around the world. We, people gave away chocolate. They gave away so many different things. And by the time it was all said and done, we had raised about $8,000 in that 24 hour period. Wow. That is one way. And the parents, um, well, the, the father in particular, he was watching the live stream. He came on. He was in tears. Everybody was in tears by the time it was all said and done because he and his wife were literally at the hospital with their son while he was going through this operation. But he was so grateful that we came together and we did this. We did this fundraiser. And so that is a way that you can use it. Um, use live streaming for nonprofit, for fundraising, for a particular cause. The other thing that we did was, and I always say that this was crazy, but a lot of times the craziest things are the ones that get done the most is, again, we gathered experts together and we did a live seminar, a live summit where we had people come on different topics. They shared their expertise. They then offered the audience um, a, and they gave them an offer for them to, participate or continue or get a discovery session or something like that. So the people who participated were able to generate leads. The The people who put it all together, um, it, there was a, um, there was, it was fee based. So the people who put it together, uh, me as well as other people that put it together, you know, we were compensated for putting that all together. And we had a ton of fun. That was the other part too. We really had a lot of fun. We had people on that were singing. It, it was, it was really great. So you could do a virtual summit. You can use live streaming to do a virtual summit. So you can use live streaming to do, uh, to do a nonprofit. You can use it to, demonstrate your product. So if you had, I just happened to have this here. So if you were selling something, you could, again, the Home Shopping Network. I've done that too. I did it last last Christmas. I think I'm going to, well, last holiday, I'm going to do it probably this holiday too, is to have people come on and sell their wares. This is really, really great for people who are in, um, who have a product to sell, especially if you are in direct sales network marketing. You know, you can Talk about your product, why it's great, why it's super groovy, awesome, and let people know, hey, if you you can get this like right here, right now for this price, you know, go to the link, click on my PayPal link. This is how much it costs. Take advantage of that and let's go. So, so that's another way that you can use live streaming 
um, and, and monetize it. So again, there are tons and tons and tons of ways. I will, uh, as Chance mentioned, I will leave in, um, you can go check out the Facebook page. There will be a link that has a video that you can get to give you some more ideas of how you can use live streaming new media for, um, for monetization. Um, and I don't want to forget podcasting. Podcasting is like so cool. There are so many people who are podcasting because we want to be able to consume how we want to consume it. Some people want to see a video. Some people want to listen. Some people want to read. You are now able to provide a way for people to listen. People can carry you in their pocket wherever they go. If they're in their car, they can download and listen to your podcast, whether it be on iTunes, whether it be on, um, what is it called? Um, Stitch, Stitcher. Yeah, uh -huh. Stitcher. Um, so you can you can use it on a, a number of different platforms. Um, you can, I mean, even sound, you can upload it to SoundCloud. There's Anchor. You know, you have that. So there is no, there's no limitation as to how people can consume your product, your service, your information, your education, your entertainment. And so, and like I said, and no, these are literally just the tip of the iceberg because on podcasts, what do you do? You can have sponsors who sponsor the show. You can have people who come on that make an offer of a product or a service that they have and you can use, and I know we're going to talk about this more in depth in a, in a, in a uh, future show, but you can use their affiliate link um, and you can, you're compensated every time a sale comes in. There's just not, it's only left up to the imagination of what you can do using the new media platforms that are available to you today. So awesome. that was a lot. <laughs> and I know there was probably a whole lot for people to, um, to, to consume. De definitely, you'll be able to watch the replay when you go onto our page and make sure you like our page at Monetize You Show. So we want to make sure that you do that and also uh, make sure that you are here next Tuesday at the three o'clock um, when we provide some more information to you on this particular topic. So with that being said, I'm going to throw it back to my buddy Chance. Man. I want him to add some more before we are uh, before we close out. Well, I'm just like, wow, blown away. I mean, you've given me some tips there, too. So as you can see, you are an expert in that, right? You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about. And that information, you say, you know, that was a lot. But here's why it's a lot, because you know it. So you are the expert on there. So that's what we're talking about, right? About stuff where you can talk like how Gail just spoke about that, right on something that you can do that. If you do that, man, you, you, you can just go. You don't have to think about what am I going to write? You just, you got it in you. So anyhow, Gail, but you mentioned something interesting. So let's give somebody some, something to start with because especially the nonprofit piece, I didn't even think of that. I've been in nonprofit work for a long time and we raise funds, but we, we've done it the hard way. But um, <laughs> I've never raised money actually on something like that. So guess what going to be my goal and challenge to be able to do that in the near future as well. Right? <laughs> so you just gave me a challenge. Good. Now, Gail, if someone wanted to get started, let's just give somebody something to get started to use media, videos, audio. Uh, what what would they need to get like a quick start? Let's just say, okay, to, to, I like what you said. I'm going to try Facebook Live. I'm going to try Periscope. I'm going to try podcast. Uh, what few things they can do right away or get to just get moving? So there are a couple of things. One, and you've, you've indicated it, come up with something that either you can be good at it or you can just enjoy it. I know, especially for my ladies out there, I know you have seen a lot of people out there. They show people how to put on makeup, okay? Right on. They just enjoy, they, they like making up, right? Cooking, you know, you've got recipes, you've got something. So sometimes it can just be something that you enjoy doing. That's number one. Number two, you are carrying around a whole lot of money in your pocket. 
wow. because all of these platforms you can get onto just using your phone. If you didn't have, if you had nothing else, if you didn't, you know, don't have to buy a webcam, you don't have to buy a computer if you didn't have it, I guarantee you have a phone in your pocket. There you go. So you can start out by using your phone. Fire up Facebook Live, that's on here. Fire up Periscope, that's on here. And start talking. Okay, start. I mean, literally, that's how you start. Really, if you wanted to just say, how do I start doing something? You can literally just start with that and start talking and do it. Here's the other thing I, I've, I've learned and am learning and do it consistently. Yes. So if you. OK, yeah, you know, I'm there, right. <laughs> so if you were to come up with something you enjoyed or something that you already know, you can jot down some notes, fire up Facebook Live, fire up um, your Periscope, start having a conversation. Here's the other thing you do. For those people who are like really kind of creepy and scared and feel really weird, find somebody to do it with you. And that way you can have a conversation. That's right. what I like to do. I like having conversations with people because people freak out when I say, do you want to, can I interview you? So it's like, have a con you can have a conversation with someone. So both of you are on screen. You're having a conversation. You're talking about something that you have an interest in, but you're also providing uh, something of value or something of value for someone else. So again, it literally can be as simple as your favorite recipe that you got from your grandma or from your mother uh, and show somebody how to put that together. How to videos, how to live stream something are one of the biggest things that people look for. People are always looking to figure out how do I fill in the blank? Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. literally um, my eldest son, no, my youngest son got his keys locked in, in, in the car. He pulled up YouTube and typed in how to unlock a car. You know, so he broke into his car from that. I needed to open up a wine bottle and I didn't know how to open it. I thought I had to, you know, I pulled up. How do I open up a wine bottle? There was someone showing me how to do that. There so something as simple, and check this out. This popped, this popped in my head. Think about this. Suppose you like wine. You can show people how to open up that wine bottle. But guess what? In your in your YouTube um, <laughs> in your YouTube video, or even on your Facebook video, whatever, you can say, "Look, I am drinking da 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 da, -da wine. I can show you how to get it." And it just happens to turn out that you know you are a distributor or associated with that. Okay, so you can or or. Or, or that, because there are a lot of wine clubs out there right now. So you you could recommend it to someone, and they and for any for any referral, you end up with a um, you end up with the compensation from that company. So I, that I think, just happened to pop into my in my head. I think that's how Gary V actually um, got started. He was doing something along yeah, those lines. Doing, yeah, but don't exactly. get junk. Don't get junk, y'all. When you when you're live though, you're just <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't get junk it's, live. Yeah. So, Gail, but, but, though, what I'm hearing you saying, though, most importantly, the fundamental of what I hear you saying is like today, any individual or organization can pretty much have their own TV station, radio station, news outlet, media outlet. Right. Because now we don't have to necessarily put all the money into the regular streams of advertising per se or get on a show. So like, and, and I'm really intrigued. I really want to stress a little bit here. I, I have a lot of people who do charity and um, nonprofit work. So I want to capitalize on just that area real quick because you opened my mind there too. So I know I'm going to be using that for this purpose, but here's what I'm saying. You have a lot of people who have charities, for example, if they started a show like this, for example, how good would it be for recipients who receive your services or whatever your cause is to come on there and share their testimonials live? Exactly. Now, imagine that, let's say you, ha you, you have something for orphans and you bring one or two of those orphans on to share, you know, what your, your, your program have done for them right after that. Now tell that's what they do on TV, right? With some of these shows, 
you know, highlight in Africa, but imagine you doing it there with your own thing. It's the same thing. Now, you, right off the word, you just pull up, hey, go and donate for this cause. Look at exactly. what we're doing. Because now it's coming out of other people's mouths, not your own. So yeah. they're on the show saying, hey, your, your work has been amazing. This is how it's touching me. This is how it's changed my family. And so right after that, you say, each one, you can just say, hey, go and donate to XYZ cause. Help us to continue doing this awesome work. Exactly. Man, exactly. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. Um, um, one, one other thing, and I don't, I don't want to run, I don't want to run over too much, but um, think about this. Anybody who is a parent out there have done fundraisers for their kids. Oh yeah. my God. I am tired. Okay. I gained a hundred pounds just from eating the chocolate that I was supposed to be selling to other people because I couldn't sell no more. It was a trip. However, think about this. So think about approaching again, because this is monetizing, right? So think about if you are a person who organizes, you literally could become a I'll, I'll call it a nonprofit or a charity consultant because that's pretty much what happens anyway. These people go to the schools and churches and different things yeah, like that, yeah. and they put together the, the, the campaign, the fundraising campaign. Well, what about this? So let's let's suppose they're doing uh, they're raising money, and let's just say they're doing the kids are doing a car wash. Well, where do they normally wash cars? They normally wash them in the parking lot of a, like a strip mall. Mm. Well, suppose you got two things. One, suppose they end up getting uh, the uh, other people. Usually there's a pizza parlor, a nail shop, a hair salon, a barber. Suppose they got involved and the organizer put the fundraiser that you're doing on Periscope on Facebook Live. So they're out there now and we're saying, come on down to, you know, we're at this place, at this shopping mall, we'll wash your car, da 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 da. We're we're sending the, you know, we're we're sending the band to, you know, wherever, or we're raising money for it, uniforms. And so now not only are you washing the cars, you're getting the school exposure. You're also, if you can get those other other uh, uh, um, retailers in that little shopping mall, and get them to give out some free pizza, give a, you know, give a 20% off of getting your nails done, getting a pedicure done. Now you've got all of them involved at, at giveaways or donating this and that, but those stores are now getting, now they're getting extra people in. It becomes one huge party. And you say, hey, for those people who are across the world, here, go here and because you can still give, go click on this link to the GoFundMe page for the, you know, the school band uniforms. If you want to donate, da, 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 da. Okay. Voila. So, and again, if you organized it, if you positioned yourself as the, as the, um, not the, the charity organizer um, or consultant who actually puts this together, you're compensated for that too. Oh, man. So, wow. so yeah. So that's awesome. why I say it, it's only left up to the imagination of what can be done. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Gail, here's what we want to do for folks. Uh, last week you did, you celebrated your 61st birthday. Mm -hmm. That was our pre-launch show, by the way, it's still available. So as we wind down, we're going to give you that link again. We want you to be able actually for this week until the 1st of July, right when we kick in because we have a uh, July 4th coming up. So we're going to do a different special then. But we want to extend um, Gail's 61% uh, discount um, at our website. So we're going to pull up a, a, a page real quick where you're going to be able to go there. This is the same link from last week. You're going to be able to download. Uh, you have uh, to be notice, notified of her release. Her book is releasing soon. So you can just put your email in there to be notified. Also, there's a free PDF download of uh, Six Figure Blueprint. So that's available there. And for those who want to hop in the Monetize Your Skills Academy course or get the book, all of that right there is um, Gail's birthday uh, package. It's all there for you guys to take advantage of. Listen, I learned something today. And I'm going to even put one of Gail's strategy in place in the near coming future. And I hope you were challenged but also feel good knowing that you now have some extra ideas to work on, play with them over in your mind for the next few days or so, and jump on one or two of these topics real quick 
and go out there and start creating some extra income. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with that, people, it was, like I said, it, hopefully, you know, it was good for me. Hopefully it was good for you <laughs> and that you got something from it. I, I always learn a lot every time I listen to Chance. I really do. Um, not only that, he totally motivates me and jazzes me. So hopefully you were able to take some of our energy with you as well. And, and, and at the end of the day, you just got to do something. I tell people all the time, you have the ability to create your own economy. Nobody is going to come save you. I don't care. It'll make no difference who's in the White House. It'll make any difference who's in Congress. It'll make no difference who you married to. Nobody's going to come save you. You got to save you. You have to be responsible for your own economy. And and because of technology, it does, I mean, there is no age limit anymore. There really is not. I think Chance mentioned, I mean, there, there are young people, 8, 9, 10, 12 years old, who are authors. Um, there are there's just no no age limit whatsoever. So from young people to boomers, you know, and all and everyone all in different alphabets in between the Gen X and the Gen Ys and the millennials, everyone has this opportunity. It's just a matter of coming up with what do you want to do and then connect with and collaborate with some of the people who can help give you. I like what Chad said, the blueprint. You can get the blueprint of different things that you need to do. So with that, I am going to say thank you for being here. Really, really, really appreciate it. Um, as Chance mentioned before, make sure, don't keep this to yourself. Share this with other people. Let them know that if you, and I know y'all know somebody who needs some money because we all, everybody, that's what everybody talks about. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have no money. Okay. They need to come to this show next Tuesday at three o'clock Eastern, two o'clock Central, and get some more money-making ideas and strategies so they can take what they already know and turn it into from zero to six-figure income business or whatever it is you want to do. I don't care if you just want a side hustle or you really want to turn it into a, a full-fledged business then we pretty much have you covered with the strategies, tools, and resources um, to make all that happen. So with that, again, this has been Gail Turner Brown, your co-host for the Monetize You show and my business partner and strategist in success, Mr. R.L. Chant, who is going to give you the chance to, to create whatever kind of life you want to create. Awesome. So, with thank that, you we, guys. Thank you so very much. And oh, would not be remiss. We could not have done this show at all without, and his nickname is Mr. MC Curtis. <laughs> he is Brooks. our producer. Definitely want to thank our producer who helped put this entire show together for us. We're going to be talking about that later too, as a why you can really make your life a lot simpler when you're doing your shows just by having it produced. So we're going to talk about that later too. So I want to make sure to thank him. And again, thank you everybody. And we will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye everybody. Bye everyone. Have a good one. Go and monetize you. Yeah.